Hey, it is Julia the Hopper Chick, and it is time for stacking the shelves. Woo woo! I'm having too much fun with this hat. Let's get started. It's been a while since I've. It's been a couple weeks, so I have a lot of stuff. We're gonna try to go through this fast. Fast. Think fast. Start with library books. So the first thing that I got um, is Feedback by Robeson Wells, which was the sequel to uh, Variant. I have started this. I'm, I think, like, almost 100 pages into it. I'm not quite liking it as much as Variant yet, but we shall see how it ends up going. I also got The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, which is the sequel to The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I read this already. It was crazy. Um, I liked it better than The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, personally. So, yeah, I cannot wait for the third one, which I don't think has a title yet, but... Ah, it was so good. Then I also got Before I Die by Jenny Downham, which this was published a while ago, back in 2007, and a ton of reviews have been cropping up for it lately. Uh, I think it's because there's a movie adaption coming out that stars um, Dakota Fanning and this other guy who I do not know his name. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um... And so because of that, I guess it's been getting more notice, but I was reading several reviews and it sounded really amazing, so I am definitely looking forward to reading this. I got a lot of fun stuff in the mail from friends for Christmas and birthday stuff. So one of my good friends uh, sent me a UK softcover copy of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which is pretty awesome because it's the UK version, so I think that's sweet. And then he also sent me... Myth and Magic, The Art of John Howe, who um, did concept art for um, all three Lord of the Rings movies and the coming Hobbit movies and the one that just came out. Okay, you guys know probably that I'm like the hugest Tolkien nerd. Um, so I was very excited to get this. So yes, thank you Christian for that. I also got sent um, <sighs> these really awesome Lord of the Rings bookmarks from... Christy. So thank you, Christy. Um, and look, they're so awesome. And then I also got in the mail uh, Lauren Stefano, the author of uh, the Chemical Garden trilogy. Um, she posted out something on Facebook recently where she was like, hey people, if you email me with your name and address, then I will give you a signed book plate. So, ha! Huh? I got it in the mail, and it says, To Julia, you rock, Lauren Stefano. I will actually leave the link to that down below if anybody's interested in getting a signed book plate from Lauren Stefano. My local Barnes & Noble, actually it's not really local, it's like half an hour away. One of the Barnes & Nobles that's within a somewhat close vicinity to me, uh, two of them actually are closing down. Bad news is they're gone. Good news is things go on clearance. I picked up a Hunger Games disc calendar, which is one of those daily calendars. And I also picked up um, these super cute bookmarks for 40% off. Um, they're so cute. Look at that. Look at the, look at the unicorn. <laughs> and then I also bought, because like I said, I'm a Tolkien nerd. I bought the Hobbit. <laughs> there was a 25% off coupon, so I used it on this. It's the Hobbit, uh, from the first movie, The Unexpected Journey. Um, basically all like the production, uh, Weta. If anybody knows Hobbit, Lord of the Rings movie stuff, then they know like what a workshop and all the amazing stuff they do. And so this is all like the concept art and stuff for how they designed everything. And it also comes with a Thorin's map in here, which you can tear out. And the moon letters, if you know the story of The Hobbit, then there's like the moon letters on the map and they have it on here in like glow-in-the-dark ink so it glows in the dark, which is very cool. I mean, look at that. It's it's shiny, too. <sighs> so, I kind of splurged on that one, but I couldn't help myself. It was so pretty. Because we're talking about Lord of the Rings things right now, I guess. Let's just talk about it some more. So I went to the Lord of the Rings marathon, uh, which was several weeks ago, actually. Two, two weeks ago, and we got these fancy schmancy lanyards that look like the One Ring. The One Ring! So we got these cool lanyards, and they had like Hobbit trivia, and so um, 
I was one of the lucky people to win, and I won this cool pen, which has, like, the ring inside, and it moves around in the liquid. It's really entrancing. And it writes nicely, so I was like, yay! So, thank you, ANC Theaters. And they also gave us these, uh, Bilbo keychains for going. So that was cool. I was at Target the other day buying candy canes and I decided to look to see if they had any funky Hobbit like gift trading cards and stuff and they had Hobbit dog tags and tattoos because when I think of the Hobbit the first thing that pops into my head is dog tags and tattoos. I don't know about you guys but I think that's like a weird combination especially for the Hobbit but I was like okay I'm digging this. I'd like myself a Keeley dog tag. Uh, but I mean, you can't see which kind you get, which is the sad part. Um, before I was opening it, I was like, just watch me get an orc. <laughs> but I didn't, so that was good. So I didn't get Keely or Feely, but I got Dwellin. Ooh. Um, and then it also came with the tattoo, right? So, I got a Gandalf tattoo. Mmm. And my sister's like, I know you're gonna be tramp stamping it up with that one. I was like, oh yeah, totally. Everyone, all the all the cool people have Gandalf on them. Their arms and legs and torsos and all that kind of thing. I kind of want to go back and just like stuff all the packages in my bag so I can like open them all and find Keely. You just watch. I would go do it and I would not get Keely at all. <laughs> but I probably will like end up buying more of these. And then I can have some cool tattoo action. Maybe I'll get some orc tattoos. I don't know. There's one orc tattoo. Mmm. Which, let me tell you, there's nothing sexier than an orc tattoo. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be horrifying. So, we went to the Hobbit midnight premiere, right? And we went to see it in IMAX 3D because that was the only way that our, the theater that we were going to was showing it in the high frame rate. And I was like, I'm seeing it in high frame rate first because um, I was like, that's the way Peter Jackson intended it. I will see it the way Peter Jackson intended it because... I'm a nerd. When we went, uh, they were, um, IMAX, everyone who went to IMAX 3D, the midnight premiere, got a set of four posters. So, uh, I know. I was freaking out. I already knew they were going to give them out, so I was like, ah. and then they were like, hey, to get to us, and I was like, my precious. Um, not at all creepy. So, yeah, they gave us these four super epic posters, and they're actually, like, really big and on really nice quality paper, so. So there's Thorin. Thorin. And there's Gollum. So lovely. Gandalf. Bilbo! Bilbo Baggins. Played by the awesome Martin Freeman. So, yes. Um. Uh, has anybody else seen The Hobbit? I'm sure other people have seen The Hobbit. If you have, comment below with what you thought because it's awesome and you should share with me. Um, and we can all like relish in our really nerdy Tolkienness together and um if you haven't seen The Hobbit you should really go see it because it's really amazing and yeah that's the stuff that I've gotten lately in the mail and at the library and at Barnes and Noble and at the movie theater <laughs> coincidentally so yeah um I hope you guys are having a great week having a great holiday season Merry Christmas and I will see you guys later bye